Phenomenal. Dragon fruit infused uh, Bacardi. What is going on guys? Joey Sucks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to a little champagne in the morning. Welcome to Perry's birthday. And as always, welcome to Road to Rip. I believe we're on episode four. These are just coming one after the other. This one's gonna be a little different than the rest though. Plan for this video is, yes, I am going to be leaving town. We're going to Epcot, we're going to Disney. It's gonna be such an incredible time. We're gonna be drinking around the world in Epcot. If you've never been to Epcot, in Disney, in Florida, it's an incredible time. So I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how I structure my like vacation time, how I can still enjoy time with friends and family and have fun experiences while still being on the road trip, while still getting cut. And is it ideal? Absolutely not. But that brings me back to why we started Road to Ripped to begin with. It's not to get stage ready lean, it's to get lean to look your best and to feel good and experience fun times with your friends and family. So that's the plan for today's video. If you can do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. I know this is gonna be a great video. I know you're gonna learn something along the way. And if you're not already, you gotta be. But if you're not, subscribe to the channel and become a subscriber. We're growing so quickly right now. I'm so excited with the growth. I'm so excited with how large my family is getting. All right, quick outfit check. Perry, what you got on? The contour sweatpants and sweatshirt. And I got the like hoodie t-shirt like this and then the Vital Launch shorts, all from TLF. And all things you can pick up if you want to as well. And you can use my code tlf sucks to save you 15%. Are they functional clothes? Yes. Are they comfy clothes? Also, yes. Can you wear them to the gym? Yes. Can you wear them on vacation? Yes. All right, first things first, anytime you're traveling, you're gonna end up low on protein more than likely. So if you can do something about it, either bring some protein powder with you. I'm just gonna take scoop two scoops before we leave, maybe like two and a half. Um, just one, starting my day out with protein, and two, getting it in, because I know it's gonna be difficult to get in throughout the trip. All right, car is parked. Look behind me at this immaculate Disney Springs Hotel. Oh, this place looks so awesome. Cannot wait to get inside, check out the room. But this hotel is actually insane. We just checked in, took a little look around, but I wanna do a little more exploring. So here's the view as you come up to the hotel. Nice little emoji. And this thing is 27 stories, so pretty big as well. All right, now you guys know I couldn't not find the gym in this place. And honestly, it's not bad. Dumbbells up to 50, some cables, a couple flat benches, a lat pull down machine, whatever this is, I guess chest press maybe. A lot of back equipment here, some nice stuff too. Another one over here, and then some cardio equipment throughout. Huge like food court area for snacks. I'm pretty sure places open all night long too. And then you cross this insane boardwalk into their pool area, which was I think one of the main selling points for me on this place. The pool is immense, like a full floating lagoon pool. I don't even know how much time we're gonna be able to spend out here, but the pool on this place is exactly what sold me. All right, and now I just got yelled at by Perry for exploring my daughter. So let's go check out the room. Hello. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> So this is the room we got, a big king size bed, a little work area, TV, couch, and then our balcony. That looks over the pool, over the lake, and we can see Disney Springs over there. I know I'm probably extremely dark, but this is honestly such an incredible view. Really, really happy with the hotel and how everything turned out, how everything looks. Super excited to get this day started. It's only like, what, 1 p.m. right now? That's it is gorgeous ever. out. It's a little hot. We got we got a monster for the road, a little extra caffeine. Mm. At least we're getting our daily steps in this way. Wow. Uh, all right. 
right, we are finally back at the hotel. We've been in Disney Springs all day. Um, we've ate some stuff, but like not really. We mostly just had a couple drinks and then Perry shopped for like seven hours. Um, so I'm pretty hungry. Got a core power protein shake, pretty solid. A banana and a say Perry. Hello to Perry. Well and a Quest protein bar. White chocolate raspberry, which is pretty solid too. Game plan, chill here for a little bit. Get uh, a little relaxation. We've been walking so much. Oh my gosh. Honestly, this is How a- How many steps have you taken? I don't know, let's see. Already at 12,500 steps. Six miles, or five and a half miles. Five and a half miles and 120 <laughs> flights of stairs. But so yeah, having a little snack and then we're gonna get ready for dinner in a little Wait, bit. Like that is really good. Caesar salad. Some kind of bread, butter, and blue cheese on top. A fantastic combo. Watermelon, margarita, peach, or no, strawberry cobbler drink at SDK right now in the Vines Bar. We are back, it is the next morning, and we are still alive and doing relatively well, actually. Plan for right now is we actually are gonna utilize the gym. I have convinced Perry to go to the gym before we start our full day of drinking today. So, props on me. I gotta say, there is absolutely no way that I'm not in a calorie deficit after yesterday. Walking, I think, almost eight or nine miles and didn't really eat all day until we had our incredible dinner at STK. And even then, I didn't really have much of the potatoes, just some cream spinach and some steak. So I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like I might actually have a decent workout. And of course, I had to bring some pre-workout. So I have some Nitroflex right here that I'm going to use. And I'm going to have this Quest bar because I didn't get to eat it at the pool yesterday. Shaping out to be a pretty good morning. And the weather is insane outside. So it's going to be a good day. That's for sure. All right. We have made it to the gym. Just had a quick little warm up. I don't know why none of y'all told me my hair looks disgusting right now. Um, we are kind of working with some limited equipment, but it's definitely enough to get a decent workout in. I all right, just wanted to hop on and do a little voiceover for you. The hotel didn't have much. What they did have was actually pretty solid. Everything you're seeing, I'm doing three sets supersets all the way through and doing high reps. So I'm talking like 12, 15 reps. You can even go to failure if you want because you're only training really two exercises for each muscle group. So I started out with a superset for shoulders and then moved into a superset for back. They had some really good back equipment to be honest with you. Some of my favorites that I've had in a while. Um, I want to keep the intensity really high here in and out, get a good workout in, get a good pump in. And like I said, just kind of a full body pump. I then moved on to some triceps. Another thing is you have to kind of get creative with some of these movements here. They didn't have a lot of stuff. So just work with what you have. Think of new ways to just create the movement, create the stretch on the muscle and make it work. Finished off with a quite a good little bicep pump. I actually took those to failure, both the dumbbell curls and the hammer curls. And then obviously posing, Perry has to come in and ruin it. Hey baby. Ooh guns what finish off with a little abs had to be shirtless overall i think this was a very very solid workout and just getting it in there getting it done when you're on vacation means so much in the long run all right workout done um i feel i feel like i'm definitely holding some water but overall like i'm not feeling that bad i definitely feel like i, I was still in a calorie deficit yesterday like i said had a pretty good pump today guys if you like this shirt code tlf dash sucks <laughs> That actually is a very, very soft, Wait, like, comfortable shirt like though. This one. Like, this is so cute. Like, just, like... So pretty solid workout, right about 60 minutes and about 650 calories burned. I don't really know why, but every time I drink, the morning after I always end up burning more calories when I go to the gym. I think it has to do with like your body having to work through the alcohol to like burn calories. But honestly, solid, solid gym session and just goes to show even if you're at a hotel, you can still get it done. All right, just got back in the room. Let me show you what we got from the little store downstairs. We each got a banana. I am going to drink both of these. Two core powers, two different flavors, both 170 calories and 26 grams of protein. So that's pretty solid. And me and Perry are gonna split this little egg white breakfast burrito that looks actually insane. Like look how delicious that looks just from the little store downstairs. Shake, shake, shake. And you know I'm committed when I bring my entire vitamin supplement stack. So 
I have my daily vitamins in here and then I have my actual like daily multivitamin that I take every day, the routine vitamins in here. One thing I've noticed, and I don't know if it's from the routine multivitamins or like the rib, the liver refresh from harder than last time that I've been taking every day, um, but one of them, I get way less hungover. So that is very nice. Wow, all right, let's go ahead and give this a bite. Yo, that is delicious. And the vitamins are going down now. All right, we have finally made it to Epcot. If you've never been, this can be your experience with us today. Plan for today is drinking around the world. So we're gonna go to every single country. The weather is fantastic and get a drink everywhere we go. Maybe a snack too, who knows? I feel like we've already done our due diligence with Road to Ripped. So I'm kind of gonna take it easy, take it free today and enjoy the weekend with Bay. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a rhymer now. Let's get in and have some fun. All right, first stop was Canada. We got two beers. Mine's a maple beer and Perry's is like a blueberry. blueberry. That's pretty good. Tastes like a blueberry cobbler. Mine has like a hint of syrup in it. It's pretty damn solid. <laughs> All right, stop number one down and we got plenty more to go. All right, so we are in Great Britain, uh, AKA England. So straight from Canada over to here and we are now getting a cider flight this time. Read them off, baby. Um, Three Daughters Brewing, Pink Lemonade Hard Cider, Bold Rock Watermelon Hard Cider, and Blake's Hard Cider, Triple Jam Hard Cider. Oh, baby. Mmm. That's really good. So refreshing. Wait, this is really, really good. That one's really good too, actually. That's good. Tastes like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. It's so hot out, the pump is coming in nice. All right, next up had to be in France. Uh, Perry got a croissant, actually. Oh, baby, look at that thing. Ooh, um, I got this fancy and extremely girly looking uh, frozen drink because it is, it's like 90 degrees and we're both leaking. Oh my God, that's amazing. I can smell it from here. Oh my God, is it? Like I'm getting the goat cheese sweats because it's, it's so good. It's filled with goat cheese? And garlic. Insane. Oh my God, baby, oh my God. Oh my God. You've ever seen Borchwan cheese? I feel like that's what, is that, is that what it is, right? That's it's exactly what it cheese, tastes like. Really got I'm so happy I got that. Yeah, wow. I was needing something like salty. Perry got a little bit of uh, wine. Rose. Walking out of France, we had to get another double Mirval's Mirval. the best rosé ever. It's, it is actually really good. Refreshing. We needed that on this hot day. Ooh. Uh, next, I think. Morocco. We're going into Morocco. All right, Morocco, we have arrived. What is it, stop number four? Yes, four. Not drink number four, but stop yeah, number we've four. Yeah, been, we've been getting a couple extra drinks here and there. Uh, we got sangria, white, white sangria. sangria. And that is fantastic. It is so good. That is really, so really good. good sangria, wow. I also obviously had to get a snack. This is Mediterranean olives. Joey hasn't eaten anything all day. Not, I've been snacking everywhere. Besides breakfast, I mean, I had a burrito. I've been snacking at every single place, but I'm here for the food. The amount of detail in all of these places is just unreal. Mm -hmm. All right, this is Morocco. I'm not sure what's next, but I think we are sense. getting tipsy, <laughs> to say the least. First of all, check out the pump right now. Just stopped in the US of A. We got a couple things, one, Blackberry Moonshine Lemonade. And that is phenomenal, wow. We got a four beer flight well, this it's... time too. We're gonna slug these and move on to the next one, which I believe is Italy, is that right? Yes, Italy. I'm gonna F up some pizza. Nothing, Perry's, Perry's digging. Is that prosciutto? All right, so we got a wine flight in Italy now. Uh, we actually decided to sit down at a nice little restaurant. Cheers. I don't know what this is, but it's good. I love Chianti. Couldn't leave it without a lemon cello shot. We have California roll, spicy roll, which I should have got that, honestly. And then teriyaki chicken with rice and veggies. We have a plum sake and then a violet I want that. mixed drink. I don't know what that is. Oh, California and spicy roll. Teriyaki chicken is looking a little weird, that's for sure, but definitely had better, that's for sure. 
Next, we're in Germany. Honestly, a really awesome place as well. Maybe not as good as Italy for Perry, but I'm having a great time. Wait, I got a glass of wine. No, it could be just as good. And first things first, we're doing a shot of this Mozart chocolate liqueur. And that was delicious. <laughs> Guys, get this and dump your protein in it. <laughs> so anabolic. You get your... Um, I also got a grapefruit beer, which is... You'll so hit your protein goals and your alcohol goals. <laughs> All right, Germany down, two more drinks down, a little more to go. We are in China. Perry wanted to get egg rolls. <laughs> She's been eating everywhere we go. <laughs> It is, it's supposed to be drinking and eating around the world. She's right. We also got two bobas. What was yours? Hers was hibiscus. We're gonna taste my egg roll first. Okay, I guess we're tasting that first. Mm. Guy, Japan sucks, China's a move. Like a basic egg roll, but like a good egg roll. Wait, see, I think it's amazing. So Perry got a hibiscus boba, and I got like a weird uh, coffee and bourbon boba. I'm about to drive mine right now. Okay, the boba is weird. Kind of like really good though. What is boba? Is, is there oh, salad? Is there protein in it? Yeah. Protein dollars. Oh, protein boba. Ugh. All right, we've made it to Norway, aka stop number ten out of eleven. This is nearing the end, and we are nearing the end of my consciousness. Norway, Content. we got the trollkin, troll, Cheers. troll something. I don't know. It's good though. Phenomenal. Dragon fruit infused uh, Holy shit, Bacardi. That's amazing. That is amazing. Wow. So good. So good. We have one stop left, with this, which is Mexico. Mexico! Oh! More than likely, we're going to be coming back here because Perry loves Elsa ride. We're coming back. He made me a PE promise that we would come back. I did make a PE promise. I will say, all the drinks have been very sweet today, but I feel like as long as you're not getting multiple sweet drinks at every place. You can get wine, you can get beer, which is not gonna be that many calories at every place. Honestly, I feel like the calories I burned walking around in the fucking right? heat. Every drink that you have. I've been well burned every off Every drink you drinks. have, you're burning off walking to the next country. That, that looks, that looks insane. That looks oh, amazing. Avocado, margarita. This one is gonna be the olive drink, eh? Yes. Our show drink. Very, very good, okay? And with this edible soap, we're gonna do a bubble in your drink. Oh, there we go! I love Mexico. Tastes like an avocado margarita. My look at this margarita. meal right here. This is filet yeah, with potatoes. Avocado. Perry got, look at this avocado margarita and chorizo queso. That looks hot, insane. It's hot, hot. Look how good that looks. What do you have to say? What do you have to say to people back home? Take a lactate if you're gonna eat this much cheese. All right, we got uh, something of what this is called. What is this called? Viking <laughs> espresso martini. Viking espresso tasty frappe. Frappe with what? It is oh my insane. god! Insane. Oh is my so god! Weird. That is. Drinking around the world is sadly over. Um, what an incredible experience, though. The fireworks were insane. All around a great day, I and like, honestly, Thank for you. the amount of calories I burn walking around, I'm hey, probably somewhere bought. around even right now with how much I've eaten today. Baby. All right, welcome to the morning after. We are, well, we're floating. <laughs> we are barely alive and floating. All right, we are back. Look who we're back with. <laughs> so this is the first time that I've kind of taken vacation and made sure that I still checked my boxes. Um, and honestly, I enjoyed it way more than I thought it would. Typically when I go on vacation, I'm in the mindset of I'm on vacation. I want to eat the entire time. I want to drink the entire time. I don't want to work out and I don't want to worry about 
getting my protein in or getting my steps in or anything like that. This has really been the first trip where I've decided that I want to care about those things. I'm on road to rip for a reason and I want to stay true to it. And honestly, it made the trip a lot more enjoyable for me. I know that sounds weird at first, but it made me want to go walk and do, go do things so I can burn the calories. It made me want to wake up early so that I can crush the gym and feel really good. It made me want to get that extra portion of protein or get that ready to drink protein shake to make sure I'm hitting my protein throughout the day. And there's something just so satisfying about that. So I have a couple of tips that I want to share with you that kind of helped me sort that out. But first, Perry, what was your favorite part of the trip all together? Honestly, my favorite part about our trip was the fact that we weren't on like a tight itinerary schedule. So it just made Epcot so much more enjoyable. We were able to like take our time. I think my favorite spot in Epcot was Norway because yeah. we got we got what two or three different drinks there and they were all really really good i think my favorite spot was morocco because that's when i like really started to feel tipsy epcot was a really good way to still get our steps in. like friday i had eighteen thousand three hundred steps 8.1 miles walked and 160 flights climbed of stairs and then on saturday fifteen thousand six hundred steps seven miles walked and 68 flights of stairs I mean, that's a lot of walking. So yes, we did drink a lot. I didn't really eat that much inside of Epcot. That's one of the points I'll get into in a second, but but Disney destination stuff like that is really good because you're outside the whole time, you're walking around and you're doing stuff. You're not just like floating in a lazy river getting food served to you, you know? But yeah, so a couple points we have is is the first one I would say is keep your same routine. Like as you saw, you brought I brought my, well, my routine vitamins, but I also brought like the rest of my supplements. I brought my pre-workout. I knew I wanted to go to the gym. Um, so have your, have your full setup with you. Another great one is whenever you're ordering food out, obviously try to order the healthier things and you know what those may be, but also almost always get an extra side or an extra source of protein. So if you get like a big salad with chicken on it, get two pieces of chicken on it. If uh, I, I, got, I got a poke bowl today, but I had double tuna put in my poke bowl and that'll just help you kind of get your extra protein throughout the day. Another thing is only eat when you're actually hungry. You may stop by something and something may sound good, but if you're not really hungry, that's not really worth it maybe you can buy it and buy it and get a bite. We did that with the donuts, but I was like, it's not the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. So I'm not going to like waste a bunch of calories to eat that. Another one, anytime you can and anytime it's available, get the ready to drink protein drinks. It kind of sucks. Like I'm not a huge fan of muscle milk. It's not very good. It's like kind of grainy and the flavors are kind of shitty, but I drink one or two every single day. The core powers are a lot better, um, but I had a muscle milk today and it was just kind of eh, but I still got it in. I had to get my protein in and I wanted to. But honestly, I think the most important thing and why we do Road to Ripped in the begin to begin with is to look your best, to feel your best, and to still be able to enjoy fun times with friends and family. And that is exactly what we did this weekend. Happy birthday. But I really hope that you guys, one, enjoyed the cardio content, two, learn something from the video, and three, are planning your trip to to somewhere fun soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you are new to the channel, become a Sug subscriber. Road the Ripped is fully on the way and we're about to dial it in coming soon. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Peace.